Good morning there, Johnny. Day two of moving day, but uh, I'm going to go a little bit out of my way to try to ed educate you for your future. Why don't you really pay attention now? It may very well save your... But when locked up visiting Kentucky State Penitentiary, we met Fleece Johnson, a longtime inmate who practices a very different kind of homosexuality. So you got a bunch of men locked up in one place. All of them get horned. All of them horned. All of them got sexual desires. So what are they going to do? You won't let them have a woman. They don't have you. just going to have to give us some booty. And it's uh, just as simple. <laughs> the story that he told us was about the place and importance that booty has. Happy trails. Wow, that was crazy, stupid, dumb, unmanly, scared, bitch-ass made shit I have ever heard of. So the dumb genius, you guys. Such a, such a genius name. He was thinking, the dumb genius. Dude, do you just, are you just like a walk, walking oxymoron or something? So scared that you can't show your face, bitch, huh? Scared people might find out or see your Facebook picture or find out who you are, huh? Why Why would you be scared of that? Oh, uh, maybe this. All right, you little piece of shit, cocksucking motherfucker. I know who you are, bitch, and where you're at, you stupid little cocksucker, dumb genius. You want to send women messages threatening to beat their ass and send women messages threatening to beat their ass and rape them and then send more about... Why don't you come get some of this, mother? I want to start off by saying people don't know me. They think they know me because they've seen what a bunch of videos in a small time period, a part of my life, or because maybe they've talked to me and witnessed me have an episode or something and do something that, in hindsight, I regret and wish I didn't do. But I tell you what, I don't like filming when I'm upset. And I don't, I mean, I've never filmed a panic attack like I've seen on some of these channels. and Because you never know when a panic attack is coming on. That, that It just comes on whenever the outside or even inside hit. And it's just, I thought Ryan had responded to my message and wanted me to send him a message. And it was a fake account. I didn't catch it at first. It literally messed with my emotions. So die and burn in hell. I said I was going to be done, but I guess I just can't. I don't understand why people can't let the law process work. There's nothing wrong with wanting to help out or work on a case that's bad. Nothing's wrong with that at all. And I think I've been about 100% behind what this person's done. But the last couple of days... I have seen some things that I just, I, I can't believe, like, they're laughable now, that she came after me to the point that I felt so depressed that you don't even want to, I can't even relate it to you. Anyways, other than that, um, someone's number was just doxxed and told, go ahead, sue me, I don't care, okay, and then we were told that the lie is going to stay up, but then the feed just cut. I just don't understand this hypocrisy, and I guess I can't stay out of it now. Like, 